Okay, hi ladies. It's been so long um, since I've been here and I've hesitated honestly to come on because um, if you remember correctly back in February I went into the cleft of the rock with the rock um, and I don't want to come down. It's been amazing what this year has brought um, and so it's just been hard to kind of re-engage because I feel like I'm still in the middle of it. And anytime I try to explain what God has been doing these last several months, I feel like I fumble over my words and it doesn't make any sense and it certainly doesn't express um, what I want it to express. And so that's been my hesitancy. Um, there's just so much. I feel like he's just pouring so much into me this past year that I don't even know. I can't even keep up with it. I haven't even been. Somebody said, well, are you journaling all of it? And I don't think that I have even done a good job of that because it just feels like it just comes so fast and furious and one thing leads to the next and it's just been um, an incredible year um, and while I say that I, I don't want to give the impression that when I say it's been an incredible year sometimes we can be under the illusion that that means everything's lined up and everything's perfect and everybody's happy um, it's not been the case it's been a very difficult year um, we have been through some pretty serious trials this past year, um, but what's so amazing, ladies, what's so amazing to me is I can say that it's been one of the most difficult years, but one of the most beautiful, amazing years, too, and that just shows you how it's just God. We've been through hard times in the past, um, and they've taken us under, and it's been so cool to be going through this year um, just in his presence, sensing his strength and his power in our lives, even in the midst of all of the trials and struggles. So um, it's just been incredible. And the reason I'm coming back on mostly is because we're coming up on the end of the year here. And all of us word girls, I would like to encourage us to do um, pick a word again, have the Lord lead us in a word for the new year. My word was wait. Um, I'm not sure I'm ready to give it up. I was kind of hesitant to take it because it seemed like a hard word and it has been but it's also been so so beautiful um as I've learned to wait on him in so many different aspects and hopefully I can share that um sometime in the future but so I, I was asking the Lord you know what do I say how do I enter back in what do I do and um this morning I felt like my encouragement for you for us is that there's more okay there is more than what you're living right now um I have no idea where you guys are in your walk with the Lord. Um, you know, if you're at bottom where it just feels dry and where is he and, and you're just like hopeless to, you know, on top of the mountain. I don't know where you are. We're all in different places. Um, but wherever you are, I want you to know that there is more. Okay, I was thinking today of, of his love, revelation knowledge of his love, um, his power in our lives, the joy, hope, peace. There's more available to us, lady. There is, it's all there. It's just we haven't tapped into it or we haven't we don't know how to tap into it and that's what I have been learning um this whole past year is tapping into what's already available it's not like it's not like Jesus comes and gives us um like more of himself or a bigger dose of him he's already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness right I mean all has been available and I read a quote that said you can have as much of Jesus as you want and I, you know what I was kind of convicted of that it's true how much do you want? How much do you want him? How much do you want his power and his love and his joy and his peace and his hope in your lives? How much do you want it? You know, what are you willing to lay down to get more of him? Um, so, didn't want to get off preaching. But, just a few things I wrote down. Some questions to ask yourself. Um, and just to encourage you, ladies, like I said, there is more. There's more to this life. If you are just dragging your knuckles, scraping by, uh, don't know how to get from one day to the next, and you're the furthest thing from walking in the fullness of his joy, I want you to know, be encouraged that there is more. Okay, he is faithful. You draw near to him and he will draw near to you. He has to be true to his word, ladies draw near to him and believe that he'll draw near to you. His word says over and over, seek me, seek um, for me with your whole heart and I will be found by you. Okay. It's true. He fulfills um, our deepest longings and our hungers. You know, and maybe you're like me. Um, 
for the last couple of years, I wasn't even hungry. I didn't even know. I was hungry, but didn't know it. I was starved for him and his presence, but I had no idea. I had become so, it was status quo, is what I called my life. This is just what life is. There's nothing more. There's nothing better. It's just a daily grind. Um, until I started crying out to be hungry for him, to long for him more. And it was months of crying out in that way. Lord, I don't even ache for you. I want to ache for you. And once he peeled back and showed me how hungry I was, how starved for his presence I was, he came in and has been filling and filling and filling ever since. And I was just reading the scripture last night and I just started weeping because it just so struck me that that's what he's done. Um in this past year it's in Psalm 107 and it says for he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness and um, I can testify ladies that he has once I realized how longing and hungry my soul was he began to come in and fill it and he is satisfied the other night when I was going to bed I was praying and I was um, I was gonna ask him you know like I don't know for wisdom dire direction and what struck me as I didn't even know what to ask because I have felt so fulfilled, so thankful, so satisfied in him and his way. It just felt like the surrender of whatever, God. I don't even know what to ask for. You know, I could ask for, um, you know, for my husband to have a better job or money to come in or, or more health or, or whatever. But I just felt like you're so good. I just want you. And if I have you, I have all I need. Um, and so that was just an incredible place to be. So I just had some questions to ask. Um, you know, and just the other thing too is ask the Father to draw you. Ask Him to draw you and make you hungry for Him. Um, I think He loves those kind of prayers. Pray for hunger. Um, pray that He would open your eyes to recognize your need. Um, and so just a few things like... Um, you know, in His presence is the fullness of joy. Do you feel like your day, your days are filled with His presence, therefore you're filled with the fullness of joy? Um, you know, read through the Gospels and the Epistles and, and, and compare them to your life. Are you walking in that? Are you walking in that victory over sin? Um, are you walking in love? Read those and see, is this, is this my life? Is this how I'm living my life? Um, do you see your life looking like Christ? Can you look back a year and see that you've grown more into his image? When you look in the mirror, do you see Christ's reflection back at you? Um, you know, we're supposed to be growing and being transformed more and more into the image. And certainly that is his, the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. But have we made ourselves available? Have we surrendered our hearts to him? Um, do we want to be transformed? Do we want to look more like Christ? Okay. Have you expressed that to him? Have you just simply said, I want to look like you, Jesus. I want to look more like you. Do you want to be with him? Do you want to worship him? Are his praises always on your lips all day long? I mean, all of us, I know, fall short, and we we always will um, on this earth, but, but are his praises on your lips? Do you see the goodness of God in your life? I mean, I think the blinders need to be taken off. It may not be that life is going to change. I don't know that my life has changed from the aspect of my circumstances have changed, but the blinders have been taken off, and I see his hand everywhere. I see his goodness everywhere I turn, and it's because he's removed those blinders from my eyes. You know, pray and ask him to do that. Um... Are you experiencing revelation in his word? When you read his word, are you continually um, seeing new things and, and it's coming to life? Um, are you hungry for his word? Are you even hungry for it? Do you, do you even long for his word? He's the bread of life, ladies. He alone satisfies. Maybe you're not even hungry. I wasn't. Honestly, I wasn't even hungry for his word. I didn't even want to read it. His word that I had loved for so many years had become kind of like a dry piece of bread to me. Is that what it's like for you? Um, if it is, ask him. Ask him to make you hungry. Um, yeah, just do you see him everywhere, ladies? Do you, do you know his presence is with you? Do you know him at a greater level? Um, 
I just, I just want to encourage you that there's more. There's so much more, Lord. There's, or ladies, there's more of Jesus to be had. Um, it's all, He's all that we need or want. We just need to um, cry out to Him, reach out to Him, and let Him do the work. It's not that Michelle got her act together and decided to do X, Y, and Z, and therefore now I'm walking in it. It was, it was just falling down before Him and saying, "Lord, I need you." And and I and that is still the cry of my heart every single morning. The more. The more I have of him, the more I want of him, the more he gives. And it's like this wonderful, vicious cycle that I don't ever want to get out of. And so my encouragement to you is there is more, ladies. There's more of him. So that being said, um, in the next couple weeks, um, I'm going to be coming back on and we're going to be talking about um, our word for the new year. Um, try to remember what yours was last year, if you or this past year, if you forgot about it. Um, Mine was weight, like I said, and it's been an incredible year. And so I look forward to hearing um, how your year has been, how the Lord's moving in your heart. Please share in the comments if there's something um, something from this past year that you want to share. I would love, love, love to hear it. And um, be thinking about participating in our, our Word Girl um, for the end of the year. Okay? All right, ladies. I have missed you. Um, and I've missed sharing my heart, but it's just been a real season of pondering all this stuff in my heart. And I hope someday he lets me share because it's just been incredible. Um, he loves you. He is so good and so faithful, ladies. Um, just want to encourage you and give you hope that there is more. Okay, there is more, 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 more for you. All right? Love you.